Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, one of the things that I uh, get asked quite a lot since I showed some of the videos is the impact that SDR Connect, the new SDR software from SDR Play, has on the system. Is it heavier? Is it uh, does it take more resources, and so on? So here's the deal. I ran SDR Uno, which is the original software that was running my RSPDX, and looked at the task manager. Once again, nothing scientific, just looking at the numbers. Um, when I look at the task manager for SDR Uno, I get um, usage of on this machine, because this is not a super powerful machine. Uh, it's really a mini PC. It's a Intel 8th generation um, i5. It takes roughly around 10% of the resources. It takes 185 megabyte of RAM. And uh, it says, uh, here it changes from moderate to high and the um, energy usage. So it definitely takes you know power to run an SDR software. It's kind of normal. It takes a lot of data in and out from the uh, device. Plus, has to run you know the screen, waterfall, everything's moving. Uh, so you know there's a minimum. But can we compare that to um, what is happening with SDR Connect? Well, if I ran SDR Connect, I get numbers that are higher. I get. 24.3% of usage. And that is double the um, the usage of SDR Uno. And the RAM, 350, 260-ish megabytes in RAM usage, which is more than double of what, uh, or roughly double of what uh, SDR Uno is using. So yes, it tells you that this software actually does take more resources and it says very high and the energy usage <clears throat> where it says moderate to high in SDR Uno. In effect, uh, do I see a performance issue? Well, yes, I do see that SDR Connect when I do something else on the PC is the impact is more important than SDR Uno, which most of the time runs smoothly even if I'm using the web browser or doing something else. So um, hopefully they can maybe tweak this a little more. It's not totally um, surprising um, if you can fact that they're using you know the um, programming techniques that that you know make it compatible only Windows 10 11. Uh, but it definitely will take um, if you were running as the R Uno at the limit of your machine, SDR Connect might require something a little better to run. Now, that said, it still runs very smoothly on something that's not super powerful. So don't go crazy over that either. And probably over time, there could be some improvements done here by tweaking the code. You know, this, once again, is still in preview mode. But uh, it definitely uses more resources uh, when you look at the task manager in Windows, which means... Um, you know, uh, it, it might uh, use uh, some somewhat um, some resources on Linux and so on. Uh, but, um, you know, it's, it's something to look at. Uh, it does take more power to run. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.